Welcome back to the Solutions Manual. In this video, we will solve the problem 5-27 from RC Propeller Engineering Statics 12 Edition. According to this problem, as an air place brakes are applied, the nose wheel exerts two forces on the end of the landing gear, as shown. Determine the horizontal and vertical components of the action at the pin C and the force in strut AB. To solve this problem, first of all, we have to mark all the support reactions and the forces in the links. So I have one force in the link AB, like this. Now, let's call this FAB. Now, a point to note here is that FAB is not making an angle of 30 degrees with the vertical. But in fact, if I draw a line here, a perpendicular line, then FAB is making an angle of 50 degrees with the vertical because this angle right here is 20 degrees. So in total 20 plus 30 degrees which means 50 degrees. So FAB force is at an angle of 50 degrees from the vertical. Now I have two support reactions at pin C. One in the horizontal direction like this and one in the vertical direction like this let's call this cy and this one is cx also i have two components for this force fab i can write them as this is the horizontal component and this is the vertical component. This angle right here is also 50 degrees because it is alternate to this angle. This is FAB sine 50 degrees and this component right here is FAB cos 50 degrees. Now if I apply the equations of the equilibrium here, then I have sum of the forces in y direction equals to 0. I am considering up direction as positive. So we have F A B cos 50 degrees plus C Y plus 6 equals to 0. Let's call this equation 1. I have sum of the forces in x direction equals to 0. I am considering right hand side as positive. So I have FAB sine 50 degrees plus CX plus 2 equals to 0. Let's call this equation 2. Now we have Two equations but three unknowns. So I need one more equation, and our third equation is sum of the moments about a certain point is equal to zero. I'm considering moment at point C because if we find the moment at point C, then we can get rid of Cy and Cx, which are unknown to us right now equals to zero. I am considering clockwise moment as positive. Okay. Cy and Cx will not produce moment about point C because they are passing through it. So there is no moment arm generated by these two forces. For this component for FAB sine 50 degrees I have a moment arm of 400 millimeters 
which means 0.4 meters. And this component of the pulse FAB is trying to rotate the assembly in counterclockwise direction, so it is taken as negative. Now I have another component which is FAB cos 50 degrees. So if I remove this thing from here. And if I drag this component to this side like this. Now this new component is the projection of FAB cos 50 degrees. So this is also FAB cos 50 degrees. This component is making a movement arm with respect to point C about this much length. Now I have to find this much length. For that I have to consider a triangle which is A, B and C. So this triangle looks something like this. This angle right here is 20 degrees and this is 400 mm which means 0.4 meters and we have to find this much length. So for that what we can do here is okay. this is just we can use the ratio of tan theta tan 20 degrees is equal to let's call this bc the length bc upon 0 0.4 so bc in turns is equal to 0 0.4 into tan 20 degrees so the moment arm of this force component is 0 0.4 10 20 degrees with respect to point C and this component FAB cos 50 degrees is trying to rotate the assembly in clockwise direction so it is taken as positive we have FAB cos 50 degrees into 0 0.4 10 20 degrees and then we have okay, these two forces the 2 kilo newton force is trying to rotate the assembly in counterclockwise direction so it is taken as negative 2 into the moment arm the moment arm is 600 plus 400 mm which means 1 meter and then we have one more force and for 6 kN force, which is trying to rotate the assembly in clockwise direction, first of all it is positive. And for the moment arm, we have to again consider a triangle. But this time the triangle is, if I remove this thing up, And the moment arm of 6 kN force is this much length. For now, we have to consider a triangle, which is let's call this x, y, and z. I extend this line. So the triangle x, y, z looks something like this
this much length is 1 meters and this angle right here is 20 degrees and we have to find the length exact so again 10 20 degrees equals to x set upon 1 so x set the moment arm of the force 6 to newton is equals to 10 20 degrees so we have 10 20 degrees equals to 0 from here fab is equals to 0. 8646 kilonewtons. Now, if I put it into equation 1 and 2, then from equation 1, Cy is equals to negative 6.56 kilonewtons. And from equation 2, Cx is equals to negative 2.56. 6, 6 kilonewtons. Here negative sign indicates and negative indicates that the direction we had assumed earlier is wrong. Which means, in fact, CY and CX should be like this, not the opposite. This is CY and this is CX. Now, this is it for this problem. I hope you will find this video helpful. If you do, please. Make sure to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates. And if you have any question about this problem then you can ask it in the comment section and I will answer it as soon as possible. Thank you.